Welcome to the Map Framework tutorial playlist. Within these videos, we will provide short introductions to each framework component. Let's first start with a general overview. The Map Framework provides a universal starting point for map services and map access. This reduces the amount of application code that must be written by the application engineer. The framework includes programming tasks and supporting configuration files with built-in best practices and application know-how. It is designed to be modular, so the user can easily add the specific parts that are relevant to the machine to a new project or an existing project. The overall goal of the MAP framework is to streamline and simplify your MAP services and MAP access implementation. More specifically, the goals are quality, time savings, simplicity, and cost savings. The MAP framework is a community-driven or open source resource. Input from the community is used to continually refine and improve the MAP framework. The GitHub repository, which holds the framework source project, is available at the following link, which is also in the description below. Applications engineers can therefore suggest modifications or new functionality directly via GitHub. In this way, the MAP framework is constantly evolving and improving via input from the community. The MAP framework uses standard MAP components, and general questions about MAP should continue to be directed to first-level or second-level support. However, since the framework itself is a community-driven resource, questions about the MAP framework contents, design, documentation, etc. should be sent directly to the following email address, mapframework at br-automation.com. The framework is available for download via the library base on the BNDAR website or directly from GitHub. Remember that the library base is only available after logging in. On GitHub, and the executable can be found under releases. Install the map framework by launching the downloaded executable. After installation, open the Automation Studio project that you would like to import the framework into. Open Project, Change Runtime Versions, and assign a version for the Framework Importer. If you haven't already set a version for Map Services, View, Motion, or Cockpit, the Framework Importer will automatically set the latest version you have installed. Afterwards, go to the Tools menu to launch the Importer. Note that if you forgot to set a version for the Framework Importer and Change Runtime Versions, the Tools menu item will be grayed out. From here, you will get a pop-up GUI which guides you through the import process. Select the map framework components on the left that you would like to import. Note that if you import the Axis framework, you must also import, or have previously imported, the AlarmX and Recipe frameworks. On the right side, optionally include the map view front end. Also identify which visualization package and file should be updated with the framework files if a visualization already exists in the project. The necessary map view files and data will be merged into your existing map view visualization. Then click import. If you haven't already, this pop-up reminds you that files may be overwritten, so now is a good time to save a copy of the current state of your project or check it into your source control system so that you can revert back to this point if you need to. Click OK. The import is now complete. Note that after the import, you may see errors in the output window, but these errors are harmless and will resolve after a build. The final pop-up points you to the relevant help files. Note the location here. At this point, you are ready to start the finishing touches which will fully integrate the map framework into your application. For more details on the related files and project changes for each map framework component, please proceed to the rest of the videos in this playlist. Lastly, the framework comes with a built-in demo page in MapView to be able to view the MapView contents quickly and easily. This page is for demonstration purposes only and is not intended to remain in the final application. Thanks for watching and enjoy the Map Framework.